Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. This is part two. Uh, last uh, week uh, we made the uh, video of assembling uh, this uh, 3018 Pro. Uh, it's the 2025 version. There are slight differences in it, as you could see. Uh, so uh, yeah, after I made the video, I put on the cable uh, tidies that came with it uh, for uh, keeping the cape it's tidy. Today we're going to do the first cut and do some text on a piece of plywood. I have it set up there. I'm using a mini PC here. Uh, uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can buy one of these. Uh, the driver came on, on this and I put them onto this. So uh, it's very simple. We will install the driver. So we click on firmware and driver and click on the driver here. And I'm running as, as administrator. And then it says install. And then it's uh, installed. So that's, that's all you have to do. And then you can plug your computer into your USB here. So it's a USB mini that's gone in there and we plugged it into here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to download UGS, it's on GitHub. Uh, it's, that's the software I'm going to use to, uh, to run the machine, the G-Code, uh, it's Universal G-Code Sender. And it's, it's free software and you can find it uh, by, uh, you can use it by Google, it's on GitHub. And you click on bin. And then you can see the program there, it's in the 64 bit, because well, nearly all computers are. I'm going to extract it all. And run as administration, the platform 64. And it will take a minute or two to load up. And then after a minute or so, then we have, uh, well, this is the screen we are faced with. And uh, I'm going to go on to it live now for you. I have messed around with it a little bit, but this is uh, wh what it looks like after you install it. So here is the screen now. Uh, this is, I have done a little bit of modification to this. I, I, have, I have made a couple of macros. Uh, you do, I will show you how to make these macros in the next one because it's much easier than going through the menu. And I, but basically what I have done is I've made a reset C axis. That's a one you will use a lot. And, uh, re, and re reset the X, Y axis. And then go to both of them, of course, yes. So we're going to click on uh, connect, disconnect. And it's after connecting, all these light up. Now, sometimes it might be locked. Uh, if it's locked, you will have to unlock it. So uh, we will test it to see will it work. As you see, it's working. Now, we have this at 25 at each go, 25 millimeters. Uh, that, that's okay for starting off to get it over to uh, the left-hand side. So I have made this file with my daughter's name on it. Kira is her name, and uh, I'm going to make this for her. Uh, the piece of wood I have is bigger than uh, the size of this. This is 130 by uh, 83 millimeters, and I think this one is probably about 180 or 170 in width. So what we're going to do, in the beginning, make sure you use a bigger piece while you get used to it, because you don't want to uh, do any, see, I'm moving it over here now. And I'm going to reset the home for this. And uh, so what we can do is before to make sure that we don't hit off anything, we can go around the screen. But I am going to keep this up. I'm not going to. Uh, uh, I'm not going to reset the, the C axis because I don't want to break my bit. So I'm going to reset the X Y axis, which we can do up here as well. Or you can set them all. Uh, you can set them all. But we are going to uh, do a different one for here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over here. Make sure I have enough clearance at the end of. And yes, we have enough clearance there. So I, that's the edge of this one. Now we will go to the bottom. That's fine on the bottom, obviously. And we are going to go on, uh, go up to the top then. 
So I'm clicking these buttons. So you can see me clicking them. So I'm going to click the Y one. And that's fine. We have plenty of room there. What you can do is to make sure that you don't break anything is you can lift this one up. You can lift the C one up like that. Not past its thing, hopefully. And we can press this little dongle over here. Do you see this one over here? And we're going to press this. And this is going to take you around a piece of wood to make sure that uh, you are uh, no obstacles in the way. Like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. That's where it's going to start. But I'm going to uh, go, go to the, uh, the, the XY. And it's going to go back down here, like where we set earlier, OK? So now we have to set the Z, uh, the Z axis, or the Z axis, as some people will do. Now, I have a probe for this, but I'm not going to use the probe for the simple reason. If you have just purchased this, you probably won't have a, you probably won't have a probe. Uh, the next video I will show you how to set up the probe and how to measure the thickness of the probe without using a vernier. I'm going to set the C1 manually. So we're going to go down. Now you be careful. Uh, I, have set the, uh, I have set the increments at pine 5. Now we can change that up to 5. And set that up to 2 or 3 millimeters. And we can go down. Be careful now. And again, now that, we're, now that I'm a few millimeters from it, I'm going to change uh, this to one millimeter and uh, go down and one more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the C to pint one millimeter or pint. Uh, I'm going to change it to zero pint. Zero, five. That's a very, very small increment, right? So I'm going to put a piece of paper under it. And uh, we're going to go down a little bit at a time. Now I'm scratching off it. Now I'm going a little bit too far, so I'm going to go up one. Now what I'm going to do now is, we're already on, on the home for the, uh, for the X and Y. The C is not set. Well, it's not set yet. We're going to reset C. So we're going to press reset C, OK? We can do that up in the menus up here if you want to. Now press reset zero and we have press reset X. Now you can do the three of them together. You can make a macro for the three of them if you want to. Actually, I will. Uh, in the next episode, uh, I will show you how to make uh, these ones. They're very handy to have here. So what I'm going to do just to make sure that we're correct, and I'm going to move it here, and I'm going to move it here. And now I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to click return to XY. I'm going to say go to XY. And then I'm going to go to X, Z, and it's going down. Now what I'm going to do is when I'm starting the project, I am going to lift it up off it. I don't want it stuck there when it starts up. Now we can go into our settings. We have done the settings. Most of the settings you will do when you are uh, when you are using easel. The next I will give I will do an episode on easel, the free version of it. Uh, they seem to be giving everybody a lot. It's a subscription, and I, if you're starting out, I don't think you uh, would want to do the subscription. You can do a good bit of stuff. There are other programs which I will touch on later in another video. So now that we're here, we lift this, as I said, we lift the C up. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to press play. 
but just press the play button and see what happens. Fingers crossed. So there's uh, Kira's carved out. Uh, maybe the la there's too much lighting in here, uh, but uh, can, can I see that one? There are uh, files that come with it, like Sign Smarts themselves. I think here uh, there's a file. You can see the files here. If you uh, open recent, uh, you can you can see the files. But there are files already in the folder if you want to print them, like Sign Smart on 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 the on the drive. So if you if you don't want to use Easel first and you just want to write the word, you can write. I you can do iPhone or something like that is on it. But it's nice to make your own one with your own text. And this was made on the free version of, of Easel. In the next episode, we will, we will go more into, this, into the software and, and more using a universal G-code sender. Uh, uh, to make these ones, show you how to make these ones. I find these very handy. I'll make another one that will, uh, will go home altogether. You can have it up here. You have it up here as well. I'll put a link up there in the description where you can buy this machine, uh, where you can buy uh, this little mini computer, quite inexpensive, or I'll give you a link to another one if you like. Uh, the, the, the machine, I'll give you a link direct to SignSmart because they, they have a fantastic, supposedly have fantastic service. I didn't need them. but. They have forums, they have support from the company themselves, and they have a replacement program as well. But I, I didn't have to use that, but just letting you know. So if you wanted to buy it direct, I'll also put a link down below uh, in, uh, if, you want, if you're not able to buy it from ScienceMart, buy it from Amazon, and I'll give you a link to Amazon. So thank you very, very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please hit the subscribe button. It's the subscriptions that help the channel keep the channel going.